Hey guys, my name's Jan. I make new YouTube videos every Friday, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And anyway, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I had planned to do something today, and actually, I've decided to go away from that plan and just have a bit of a ramble towards the camera because <sighs> exams are stressful. Yeah, I've had two exams this week and after that I have pretty much relaxed. I've still got one more exam to go and I have started working for it uh, since my last two exams but trust me, I'm getting tired of doing exams now. So yeah, I'm relaxing, finally. I'm in a bit of a relax. But yeah, exams are very stressful and I thought I'd better share with you that it ain't that easy doing a law degree sometimes. But it could have been a lot worse. So this week I had a result back for my coursework, which I had to do in December and I had to write about urban renewal in New York City which I've thought, weirdly enough, of doing a YouTube video about this because it was something I found extraordinarily interesting because, okay, I admit it, I've always been I've enjoyed a few games on the laptop and one of the games I've enjoyed or the game type of game I have enjoyed has been about creating your own city, like City Skylines or Sim City 4, or another one which is very New York-y is Tycoon City New York. And actually, I realised how much truth are in these things because how things affect residents and how changes to service and things actually does affect people's lives and you just think yeah you know it's a it, those are a game but actually i realized when i was doing this coursework and i was like well yeah if you had a subway line here of course it's going to be more wealthier and if you're planning on building a highway there, of course the residents aren't going to be happy. And to talk about like the effects of urban renewal in New York were quite interesting. I went down the route of taking the urban renewal subject in New York down a different route, and a route that was not recommended by my tutor. And this involved talking about urban renewal and its effects by looking at different transportation. So for instance, oh by the way the question was discuss the effects of urban renewal in New York City and I, I took the route of looking at the highways, looking at the railroads and looking at the subway and it wasn't recommended because the my tutor thought that I wouldn't get a very good mark if I took this route because he didn't see quite what I could get out of it in regards with the reading. I came across this particular book and it's on, it was online uh, on our student service library thing and it was called The Routes Not Taken, A Trip Through New York City's Unbuilt Subway Systems. And I had it down on my coursework uh, list of something that I wanted to consider reading. Anyway, that's probably enough about the subway, but it was a really interesting topic to talk about. And what released the stress was I had my result back this week and I managed to get 80%, which meant that I'd passed the course before I'd done the exam, which was a bit of a relief because this exam that I was doing for my New York module was on Tuesday morning 
and I had an exam on Monday afternoon. A very, very difficult land law exam. <sighs> so that is why it's stressful. On a bright note, I received a very good book this week. A book that I am very, very excited to show you. Nothing really to do with my channel, but it's something I like to read about. And that is this. It is The Law of Armed Conflict, an International Humanitarian, uh, humanitarian Law in War book. And why am I so excited? It's a bit damaged. It's a hardback. You can see the damage there. You can see the price there, which is, if I can hold it up, Try and get it to zoom in on the price. £54.99. Why am I so excited about a £55 book? Because it was less than a tenner postage and packaging. Brand new. Because of the damage. Anyway, I am glad to have shared this discussion with you today about exams. And I go back to revising after I've edited this video because I've still got one exam left equity and trusts but hopefully it'll all go alright and that means that I'll be celebrating on Twitter and Snapchat which you can follow me on if you're very interested uh, and you can share last week's video with yourselves and a recommended video if you haven't done that because that will be at the end and you can remember to subscribe and give this video a huge like because I know that you understand that exams are stressful so yeah and next week I'm going to record a video probably here I've got some stuff that I also am going to start working on and now I'm going to have a nice coffee why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?